Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to start with a press conference of Prime Minister and Secretary General. And first of all, I'll give the floor to the Prime Minister. Head koha viibi, et NATO on teinud head tööd. Ladies and gentlemen, NATO has done a very good work and uh, I expressed my personal thanks for that to the Secretary General and NATO is also much more present in Estonia than it has been present here until now. Uh, the work of NATO is far from completion, so it's still ongoing in our region and we discussed how to make it stronger and how to make the presence of our allies in our region a long-lasting one. Um, uh, something that is um, no less important is our contribution to our defence capability and our contribution to NATO's defence ca uh, capability. And Estonia is one of those NATO allies who has always complied with the obligation in defence spending, which has always been 2% of our GDP. And I also assured Secretary General that Estonia's future contribution will also be unconditionally the same 2% of our GDP. Um, very active um, preparations are underway for the summit in Wales in September. And uh, the preparations include collective defence, uh, increasing the defence capability, increasing the security, but also um, Estonia's uh, strong point, which is cyber defence. And I'm really delighted that the NATO representatives uh, managed to uh, visit the centre of excellence of cyber defence here in Tallinn. Um, I was also delighted to give the Secretary pres uh, General a present, which is a reminder of uh, the Danish present here, the presence here, namely a picture of the Danish F-16 at our airbase in Amari. And I'm particularly delighted because um, the Danish fighters that carry the flag of Denmark, that that flag was actually born not far from here, just a, a couple of hundred of meters. And we are definitely going to make everything to make the Danish um, crew welcome here. Thank you very much indeed, uh, Prime Minister, for those um, uh, kind words. Uh, it is a great pleasure to be here uh, in, in Tallinn and to see you again. Uh, after your uh, visit uh, to NATO headquarters just a few weeks ago. We thank you for hosting uh, the North Atlantic Council, uh, which is here uh, on a working visit to explore um, how we can enhance the Alliance's collective defense and how we can enhance our cyber defense. Our visit is also a strong uh, signal of our solidarity. Uh, this is a very important time uh, for the Alliance. Uh, the crisis uh, in, in Ukraine continues to have a significant impact on our work, and we are responding with readiness, unity, and resolve. The entire Alliance stands with you. Our commitment to collective defense is rock solid. That is why the North Atlantic Council is here today. That is why allies are deploying uh, planes, ships and troops here to Estonia um, and to other allies from the Baltic Sea to the Black Sea to reinforce our collective security. This crisis is a great challenge. To meet it, we must show solidarity, we must show resolve, and we must show leadership. 
Estonia plays a leading role in cyber defense. We highly appreciate your contributions in this field, and allies have learned a lot from Estonia's experience and expertise. Estonia also leads by example when it comes to investing in its security and in the right defense capabilities. You spend the right amount and you spend it smartly, including by cooperating with other allies to get more for your investments. And you make a strong contribution to our operations. In all this, Estonia is a model member of NATO. You lead by example, and I will look to you to continue showing that leadership as we prepare for our NATO summit in Wales this September, and as we continue to adjust to the new reality we face. Russia's aggression against Ukraine shows we cannot take security in Europe for granted. It shows that defense matters and that NATO provides for our collective defense. As we prepare for our summit, we will continue to safeguard the security and freedom of all our allies. And Prime Minister, I count on your support. Suur tänu, meil on tihe ajagraafik maksimaalselt kaks küsimust. Right now there is a military training in, in Spain and uh, they are having a legend that Estonia will be attacked. And uh, right now uh, we know that uh, Russian troops are also gathering behind the Estonian borders. And how would you estimate, the, and, and your visit to Estonia, how are those uh, three things uh, connected and uh, do you really see any, any threats, any real threats to, to Baltics and Estonia? Thank you. Um, Actually, I think that because of Estonia's membership of NATO, there is no imminent threat uh, against uh, Estonia. But that's actually thanks to your membership of NATO because any potential aggressor knows that an attack on Estonia or an attack on any ally would be an attack on the whole alliance. 